And uh, Hassan, I watched one of his matches, well, two of the matches today, and his fight against the Russian, against Isiev, was incredible. Yeah. Absolutely, that was the match of the day so far. It was brilliant. And he finished up throwing Isiev for Ippon. It was Ippon, wasn't it? And it, yeah. was, a, it was an absolute bruiser of a match. <laughs> absolute bruiser. Some of those cuts he probably got when he fought Isayev. I thought, looking at him at, in that match, I thought he's certain to go to the final and may, maybe even win it. But um, who did he lose to? Because I saw him then uh, going on to beat the to Czech. From Portugal. Jez, I think it was Jezek he went was on it? to beat after that. He must have lost to the, uh, the Portuguese, I, I think. It was, yeah. yeah. Who was that? Pinner? Pina, yeah, because yeah. Yeah. he must be in the final then, yeah. Jezek, or Jezek, no, Je he beat Jezek. Yeah. So Jezek uh, then went on to lose to Pina. No, he went. Uh, Hassan went on to lose to Pina. That's right. Yeah. And that the final is between Pina of Portugal and. Uh, Kodzakov of Russia and that match is coming very soon there's no score in the other bronze medal contest on mat two between Darbele and uh, Jezek of the of Czech Republic Darbele is from France still nil nil there that's a tight match also they're just uh, completing the first two minutes there. They're a little ahead of the match we're looking at here. Oh, lovely Uchimata attack from Hassan. He's really explosive, very dynamic athlete. With the crowd behind him, I think he's having a cracking day. It seems to be just lifting him up a bit. Yeah, it's the most people that have been in the hall today. So it's... Uh, been a lively crowd. It's been vocal. Very, very vocal. Mm. That's the uh, new coach for Turkey. He's from the Netherlands. Was the former coach of Ben Spikers. Oh, really? Oh, okay, that's good. How long has he been here, do you know? I don't know. I didn't even know he was the, the, uh, the new coach for Turkey. Yeah. Nice attack. Oh, very close. And he gets a score. He got it. Sharinger giving oh, the Yuko. I thought that was a bit generous. Actually, yeah. it's Ben Spikers who's the referee. Oh, really? <laughs> we just <laughs> mentioned his name. I just realised he's also the referee here. <laughs> well, his former coach isn't going to be happy with that. that he's given a Yuko <laughs> <laughs> against one of his players. That throws. So <laughs> Certainly woken up the Turkish fans. Mind you. A Yuko. It's, it, you know, it can, a lot at this level. Really. It's not a, a, an irretrievable uh, position. We've seen people that was Ari ahead and lose the match <laughs> within a short <laughs> time, you know. Within a minute they've got three penalties yeah. in its level. And a few more seconds after that it's yeah, all it's over. Gone. Oh, there's a Nippon on mat number two. Jezek has just thrown Darbele for Ippon. Unbelievable. Now, am I mistaken? Has, Dar has Darbele moved up a weight? Or am I, confused? No am I confusing him with somebody else? Maybe I'll. I thought Darbele was always at 66. Maybe somebody let us know. He's a bit shorter than the others. I might be right about that. Darbele just been thrown for Ippon. Jezek takes the bronze for the Czech Republic. On the other mat. But we're staying with this match here. It's a close one. Sharinger leading. 
by a single Yuko but there's still plenty of time for Hassan to come back into this there's still two minutes and 14 on the clock and Sharinger has just picked up a penalty so this could be the start of the comeback from Hassan Hassan's piling the pressure on he's got the crowd behind him The work rate of Hassan is incredible. This is a, uh, this is how he beat SAF of Russia. He just kept going, kept going, kept going, and he did the same thing with Jezek. That's what they say. Sometimes the best offense, uh, best defense is good offense. So. No, no, no penalty was given, so it's still the same as it was with uh, Sharinger leading. One minute and 47 remaining. And Sharinger picks up that second penalty. That's that leveled it. it all out, yeah. One minute 45 to go. Sharinger has really got to get himself into another gear now. He's allowed Hassan to come back into this. He's got to dig deep. There's still no real response from him. It's Hassan that's uh, on the ascendancy here. He's piling the pressure on. Oh, nice attack oh. from Sharinger. Did he get out? He did get and out. And he yeah. threw him, but he managed to did rotate fully onto his stomach. No score hope, was given. Hope we see a replay of that. At that the was end. nice from Sharinger. That was lovely. Oh, beautiful mm. attack from uh, Hassan. This is a great contest. This is this is picking up. Lovely Uchimata attack from Hassan. Coach looking on anxiously from Turkey. It's equal. It's a Yuko apiece. There's just a minute remaining. Get those grips in there and Who's going to make the breakthrough? Both of them just desperately trying to get any sort of grip on so that they can get an attack in. Hassan taking a knock between the legs there. Well, he's going to get some time to recover while he Ties his fixes belt. his gi. Sharinger gets a moment also. Medicals come onto the mat. Must be some blood somewhere so with the crowd behind what's the the Turkish fighter got to do at this point yeah. he's just got to do what he's d been doing to get himself back into this and make it level he's got to keep just putting the pressure keep on piling on the pressure and he's got the crowd behind him which is going to help and lift him up keep him going just keep attacking he's got a few seconds left Let's now he's he last do. minute this is when he's going to count neither of them can afford to take a step backwards now no, absolutely not Attacking all the way to the edge and out even. 40 seconds. So trying to secure the arm there. Comes up, tries it. Sinagi. And the Uchimara after that. He's really just throwing attack after attack. And he gets and, uh, the penalty. Sharinger gets another penalty. He goes behind. A little bit harsh that. I think they could have waited for an, just a few more seconds just to see what happened. I don't know. I think it, was, it was pretty fair, I thought. <laughs> We're in, in the final seconds now. Last uh, 16 seconds. Hassan leads by Wazari. Sharinger has allowed himself to be penalised out of this contest. I always think it's sad when the guy who made the score from a throwing technique loses yeah. on penalties. That's, that's why I think they should have waited. I think the fairer thing would have just hung on a little bit. 
let it go to Golden score. I, I, I don't like the referees deciding <laughs> the contest with penalties. I know where you're coming from, but no score in that one. They had a lovely throw he did early, and it's no he turned out. They didn't give him the score, so, but I know where you're coming from, absolutely. Sharinger's first score, where did that come from then? Did he get it scored? I don't think he got scored for it. Perhaps we'll see it in a second. I thought he had, because there's no penalties against uh, oh, Assad. No, you might be right, yeah. Can't see the scoreboard from here, too short. Ah, uh, you're right, he's got a coker on there. Must have been from that throw. But I don't think that can take away from the side. I think he earned that. He worked all the way through that fight and not far away. You don't agree? I like to see the guy who made, who, who got the score, score from doing judo win yeah. the match. I know there's got to, you've got to draw the line somewhere. You can't have yeah. someone make a score and then just sit on it for three just or four minutes. Yeah. And I don't think, I think that was borderline. I don't think, I think the last penalty that was given